Hey guys, welcome back to Amazing Animals. Today we have something pretty special planned for you. We are gonna talk all about our lemurs. <laughs> Yeah, they're a lot of fun. They're a little bit crazy, uh, but we really love lemurs and there's so much conservation efforts needing to go on with them in the wild. So we thought it would be uh, great to teach you guys all about lemurs, all the different species we have, and of course, a little bit about Babs and Bayo. Yeah, so here we go. Learn all about the leaping lemurs that we have. So before we actually talk about lemurs, I want to talk about where lemurs are from. Madagascar. It's a beautiful island off of the eastern tip of Africa. It's about 250 miles away from Africa, and Madagascar as a whole is about 230,000 square miles. That is the fourth largest island in the world and the second largest island country. It's its own country. 88 million years ago, the island actually broke off of the supercontinent Gondwa and it created Madagascar. The animals of Madagascar have been able to evolve in isolation and 90% of the animals there are found no place else on earth, including these amazing lemurs. All right, so Madagascar is home to over 100 different species of lemur. As a whole though, they are actually the most endangered mammals in the world. And a big part of that is because of habitat loss. So these animals live on the only little island of Madagascar. And unfortunately that's being destroyed so that people can use the land. So their home is being taken away. Now, lemurs are a very unique species. They're only found on the island of Madagascar, and the largest lemur is the Indrid, which is about a 22 pound lemur. We have our ringtail lemurs behind us that are about seven pounds, and the smallest lemur is the mouse lemur that's only 30 grams. That is a very tiny little lemur. And with them, they live in all different parts of the island. It's a very big island with very unique habitat ranges. So each lemur species has evolved to live in that ecosystem, in that habitat range, only found on that island. So they're very unique species. There's not any other island we can go and put them on. A lot of people ask, you know, why? Can, how can we help? And zoos are very important for educating people, letting people meet them up close and personal like we have with Babs and Bayo here. And in fact, Babs was an ex-pet, so we were able to take her in and now educate our guests all about lemurs. Ringtail lemurs are one of my favorite species. They're very funny to watch and they have a very interesting social structure. So females are the matriarchs. It is a dominant or female dominant environment. So they can live in groups of up to 30 lemurs with the girls being the bosses as it should be. Uh, but with Babs, someone raised her as a pet around people, and so she kind of has some social issues because she wants to be around people, but she still wants to be the boss. So she can be a little bit aggressive towards us, which is why we ended up taking in Bayo. So he was also uh, a male lemur in another troop of lemurs at another zoo, and the females in the troop actually kicked him out. So he was in need of a home. It worked out perfect to get him and Babs together so they can have the relationship and be lemurs together. Bayo, I think, has taught Babs to be a little bit more of a lemur, which is awesome. They spend a lot of time set marking and vocalizing and grooming each other. Um, in fact, males do something really fun. It's called a stink war. So they've got scent glands on the inside of their arms and they'll rub those scent glands uh, on their tail and flick it around and the male with the stinkiest tail wins the heart of the lady. Luckily, people don't do that. Uh, but we love having these two. They love each other. They spend a lot of time together and they do set mark kind of all over the place. You might see her rubbing her butt on everything. That's a huge form of communication for lemurs. Grooming is another big one. So they have very unique teeth. Their teeth are actually called comb teeth. So just think of a comb. They're built to groom their fur, make sure they're nice and clean. And they even have a second tongue. Underneath their tongue that you always see is a grooming tongue. So it actually can clean their teeth really well for when they're grooming their own fur or each other. And they also have an extra long toenail on that back foot called the grooming nail. So that can get to you know the hard to reach spots like the ears and everything. And ringtail lemurs, they get the name from the black and white stripes on their tail. And they have about 13 to 14 alternating black and white stripes. And they have that tail actually to use as a flag. So it is not prehensile. They don't use it to hold on, but they do use it for balance. But they're the most terrestrial of all the lemur species. So they hang out on the ground the most. And they use that tail to stick up in the air so that everyone else in their group can see each other when they're walking around in the tall grasses foraging for food. 
So that's why they have that beautiful ringtail. Uh, they do breed really well in zoos, so you see them a lot, which is amazing. So we can educate people all about this amazing species and hopefully bring awareness to what's going on in their native home range of Madagascar. <laughs> Because lemurs have been isolated on Madagascar for so long, they resemble primates like apes and monkeys, but they're actually considered prosimians. They're a totally different species of primate. If this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, get notifications when we post up new content. Thanks for checking us out. All right, so we're gonna make the diet for Babs and Bayo, our two ringtail lemurs today. So they get a specialty diet here, since we obviously don't have all the food that they would eat in Madagascar. We use a monkey biscuit. Um, it's actually cinnamon flavored, they're very spoiled. And a company called Missouri makes this. So this has all the good nutrients in it that they really need. It's really, really healthy and important for them. So we have a nice big scoop full of that. They do like it soaked a little bit, so they're a little spoiled. So we'll get a little bit of water on there. And then ringtail lemurs are actually omnivores, so they're going to eat all sorts of different fruits and vegetation in Madagascar. So we also like to give Babs and Bayo a nice yummy fruit and veggie mix here. So there's a nice variety. We've got some yummy strawberries, some apples, bananas carrots, even some peppers and onions. So some really healthy food for them. And in Madagascar, there are over a hundred species of lemur and they all eat a variety of foods. So some are more omnivores, which will eat a variety of different bugs as well. A lot are uh, herbivores like Babs and Bayo that are gonna eat all the fresh fruits and veggies. So a wide variety of lemurs eating a wide variety of foods, but Babs and Bayo get a nice healthy diet here. And they eat better than I do. <laughs> All right, so there's so many different species of lemur. They're one of my favorite animals to work with. And another species that you see really commonly in zoos are the black and white and red ruffed lemurs. So they're one of the larger species as well. And they're very interesting with how their social structure works. They have a very loud vocalization. So they'll kind of spread out more in the rainforest and can call to each other over a mile away. And when they have babies, moms will actually build a nest. So most uh, lemurs like the ringtails will have their babies and they'll cling right onto them for the first couple months. But red rough lemurs and black and white rough lemurs will actually build a nest. The babies come out a little bit less developed and they'll stay in the nest for a few months until they're more developed and then can go out and start exploring with mom. All right, so one of my favorite species of lemur is the blue-eyed black lemur. And they are one of the only other primates beside people that have blue eyes. And they're very unique because they are sexually dimorphic, which means the males look different than the females. So the males are actually black with the blue eyes and females are reddish brown with the blue eyes. They are a beautiful species and they are also critically endangered in Madagascar. Madagascar is a very poor country. Unfortunately, the people that live there have to live off of the land and that means a lot of the animals there are consumed for food and conservation is the least of anyone's concern. One of the most profitable ways people make money in Madagascar is actually turning the rainforest land where the lemurs live into rice fields. Unfortunately, with those rice fields, every year that they have those, those rice paddies growing, it, it takes all the nutrients out of the soil, and that soil cannot be turned back into rainforest land. They're destroying the land and destroying the ecosystem, and unfortunately, about 90% of the habitat is destroyed in Madagascar, leaving a very little space for the animals that are native there that are only found there in the entire world. All right, so another one of my most favorite animals found in Madagascar is not actually a lemur, it's their biggest predator, the fusa. So we know we talk about a lot of habitat loss and human conflict with lemurs, but they do have the predator, the fusa, which is a beautiful cat-like species that can climb all throughout the trees and predates mainly on lemurs. Not all hope is lost. Zoos and aquariums and conservation groups are doing an amazing job of protecting habitats and saving animals that are native to Madagascar. You can help too. There's different programs you can be involved in by either spending your money or spending time, volunteering, do lots of research and figure out how you can help save lemurs in Madagascar. Thank you guys for checking out our vlog today. We hope you enjoyed it learning all about our lemur friends. 
Yeah, I absolutely love lemurs. They are such a unique animal found only on the little island of Madagascar. And we love to bring an awareness to the species because of all the threats that they are facing. So we hope you guys learned a little bit. You fall in love with lemurs. Maybe do your own research and see how you can help them out. Yeah, thank you guys for checking us out today. We hope you enjoyed it. Remember, go out there, do something amazing.